how to leave your snowplow on your tractor permanently and having it in the highest position possible for ground clearance. And today I'm accompanied by my girlfriend, Anna Lynn. Anna Lynn, do you want to say hi to everyone? Hi guys. All right, that's Anna Lynn. Okay, so the problem I had with this uh, tractor was when I put this boom on the back of my tractor, when I'd have the boom in the, in the all the way the up position, then the snow plow in the front would be all the way down. So I had to have it in a happy medium with the snow plows a little bit down and the booms a little bit up. And I didn't like that because I liked the fact that the snow plow is on the front of the tractor because I have this bumper. And on another video, I'm going to show how I put this bumper guard on. But I want it to have the snow plow on there because it's cantilevered so far out, which it helps in keeping the front end down when I'm listing heavy loads with my boom on the back of the tractor. And I had no place to put weight on the front because of my bumper. And I still might get wheel weights for it, but that's in the, that's in the future. So what did I do? Well, the first thing I did was I had to figure out how much play this front axle had. And it's an inch and an eighth play between here. And then I want to see the maximum height that I could raise this plow. And the maximum height with, with, it, with it all the way up, with it modified, is eight inches now. Before that, it was five inches, and I don't even know if it was that because the way the, the hydraulic system set up, I think it wasn't even that. So I know I gained, I gained three inches for sure, and I know I gained on the lift on the back as well. So this is what I had to do. I had to go in there where these snowplow apparatus is at, and I'll get it in focus, and I had to grind down those points again so I could gain an eighth of an inch. So I did that on both sides, and I left the lift snowplow mechanism in there, and I came over here, and I disconnected it from here. I just dropped my wrenches. And I disconnected it from here, and I made this bracket. I had this bracket, actually. And the way, the, the way it's angled, I'm able to put the snowplow point in here and that way it's an always in the upright position <clears throat> and I'll show I'll show you underneath a little bit if you can see it and I sandwiched it in there and shimmed it out with washers and that's how it works I'll start the tractor up I'll put the phone down for a second And I'll show you in the operation. So now, if I'm lifting the boom in the back, it's clearing everything. The rod, although will, the uh, bracket here will not touch the rod, and I even get close to it. Another thing I had to do is I had to cut off this pin here and make it shorter because I scratched the paint and I flipped them upside down. Flip that one upside down, I flipped this one upside down. I did find out there was a greaser in this block here which I didn't know existed so I guess it was a good thing I started this project. So that's how it looks. So if you want to do something similar and that way I can use it in the summertime and I don't have to worry about the snow plow bottoming out in the winter time I probably won't use the boom that much but I can just leave it on there the only bad thing that happened in this whole project was 
when I was turning the wheels, I snapped the this this uh, tie rod. I wonder if anyone else had a problem with it ever snapping there, right where that bend is at. That's that a common problem. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And of course, I need subscribers. That's the main thing.